What is up YouTube? My name is Jake with Export Academy and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the most popular network scanning tool out there in map. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so I'm inside my Parrot OS inside a virtual box and I'll be using Parrot to scan Metasploitable. So I have Metasploitable running in the background. Um, which has many open ports and stuff that's great for this example. So to start, let's use the most basic nmap scan, which is nmap.192.168.56.103. If you don't know the IP address of the device that you want to scan, uh, we'll get to that. However, if you have access to the machine, you could just simply um, go into it and type in ifconfig for Linux. And you will see right here that it's 192.168.56.103. Okay. If you were on a um, Windows machine, it would be IP config like that. Okay. And that's going to pull up the similar thing. I'm just on Linux, so it's not going to work. Okay. So that's the most basic in map scan right here. We'll press enter, and there you go. The most basic ports, and that's basically about it. So it's going to list. Uh, the IP address and it's going to list for that scan specifically just the uh, open ports. It doesn't really give you any information about open ports or anything. It's just it's basically saying it exists and this is what I could quickly see that it had open. Okay, so let's clear that. Let's do uh, say you want to scan a range of IPs though. Like say you just don't want to scan Metasploitable, but you want to scan five other devices on the same network uh, in an IP range. Well, to do that, this is nmap 192.168.56. Uh, in the range, so 100 through 105. Now, for me, it's only going to return Metasploitable because that's the only machine on that uh, network. But there you go again, just a quick scan, returning open ports. Okay. Now, what if you want to say you don't know the IP addresses of the devices around you? Well, you can actually scan the entire subnet, or basically the entire uh, section of the network that you are in. And to do that, it is nmap.192.168.56.0, okay? So 0 0.21 is the key here. You press that. And this might take some time because it's trying, uh, you know, 56.1, 56.2, 56.3, all the way up to like 56.255, okay? So there you go. Uh, Again, it only returned Metasploitable, but it would have returned every device that was on that connected network. Okay, so we can clear that. Now, what if you want to scan ports? Okay, so what if you just want to scan uh, individual ports and uh, list what kind of services are on them and stuff like that? Well, to start, let's do the most basic port scan, which is nmap tac p for port and the port number that you want to scan. Well, in my case, I want to check for, uh, let's say FTP running on Metasploitable. So FTP is known as port 21 and we will do the IP address and there you go. So it is in fact open on Metasploitable. You can see here state open FTP port 21. Okay. Similar with the IP ranges you can scan a range of ports. So to do that just in that tag P and the range let's do 1 through 100. 192.168.56.103 and there you go so you, now it's listing ports 1 through 100 that are actually open on uh, Metasploitable. It won't list ports that aren't open just a future reference I don't know if I disclosed that earlier but if you're new to this it won't tell you if the ports are closed just the ones that are open okay so now, what if you want to actually see the services that are on those ports, which is very important because if you want to do an exploit or some sort of attack, you need to know the service that's actually running on that port. So to do that, you're going to type in nmap, tac service, or SV, I kind of see it in my head as service, helps me remember, um, and 192.168.56.103. Now, this scan actually might take some time because it is going through every individual port and doing a banner grab. Okay, a banner grab is basically saying like, oh, hey, what's on the service? And it takes the name, if it can get it, okay? So here you go, these are uh, banners, essentially. 
So uh, you can see right here on port 21, which is the FTP service, it is running a VSFTPD 2.3.4, uh, vice versa. You got port 22, which is SSH, running open SSH 4.7 uh, P1, and that's all the way down, okay? Now that's actually really useful because, you know, you can take these and Google and find some kind of exploit and uh, launch it against the port. So moving on, what if you want to find out what kind of operating system is actually on the target machine? Well, you can do that. Uh, to launch this attack though, you or to launch this scan, I'm sorry, you actually have to use uh, root privilege. So I'm on a just a regular user account on Parrot, but if you're on Kali, you probably have root privilege, assuming you didn't make another account. But for me, I have to type in sudo. So if you're on a non-root user, make sure you use sudo for this one. So uh, sudo nmap attack o 192.168.56.103. There you go. So uh, it says right here OS, okay, OS details. It's possibly Linux 2.6.9 through 2.6.33, and uh, it's running Linux 2.6.x. Okay. Now these are actually predictions. They're not always rock solid, um, but they are for the most part pretty accurate. I mean. Like if you're scanning a Windows box, it's gonna come up with at least the fact that it is Windows, you know, usually most of the time. Um, and it's pretty accurate. I mean, it's like 97% accurate, so. But when you're scanning like weird versions of Linux, you might get some weird different results. But uh, with Windows and your main core operating systems that you see day to day, you know, like let's say a Mac, uh, you got, you know, your Windows, um, like Linux Ubuntu or um, mint and operating systems like that you're gonna get a pretty accurate reading back on those so uh, and then of course it lists the most common ports now one of the things is uh, a lot of the scans are using TCP or just scanning for TCP ports as you can see here these are all TCP okay which is transfer control protocol there's two different kinds of uh, uh, I mean, there's more, but the main two port protocols for the internet is UDP and TCP. Now, UDP is more for like video, uh, like Skyping and stuff like that, because it'd be too slow to use TCP for a lot of services that would involve like uh, basically pray and spray for the information. Because like in a video, it, it's fine if data drops, but if you're downloading a file. Uh, you don't want anything to be corrupted, so you use transfer control protocol, which is much slower, okay? Um, so however, Nmap by default doesn't really scan UDP. So to do that, you have to do Nmap, um, actually, I'm just gonna use sudo just in case, sudo Nmap uh, SU, okay? So for scan U, like scan UDP, uh, and then the IP address. Now this scan, I will warn you, does take quite some time, so I'm not going to actually follow through with this because as you can see right now, I'm hitting enter. It is very slow. But if the, uh, just like in any other scan, if it does have open ports on UDP, it will be displayed right there. And of course guys, if you're looking to use a scan that I recommend that's not too slow, but it also pulls a lot of data back and a lot of information that can be used for exploitation, I recommend using this one right here. So sudo nmap tag sv tag sc and then the IP address. So what this is doing is service detection and safe scripts. So there's actually scripts inside of uh, nmap. Now there's like at the time of this video at least a good 600 of them and I can't go through every single one of them but this scan right here uh, we'll pull back a good amount of information and see it's almost done already uh, in a short amount of time. Okay guys, so it just finished and now if I scroll up, I can see a lot of information. I mean, it's probing a lot of these ports. For example, like I bet if we look at FTP, yeah, you can see right here. So not only does it tell you what version it is, it also shows that it does allow anonymous login, which if you're unfamiliar with that kind of vulnerability, uh, if they don't have the permission set up properly, you could drop like a, 
like some kind of web payload or uh, something like that and launch it from their server to give you like a reverse shell. Uh, so that's pretty nice to know. It saves you a lot of time having to log into FTP and all that. Um, again, going down, it just kind of probes into each port to tell you a little bit more about it and maybe even expose some possible vulnerabilities, okay? So, again, this is some of the like scripts results. Um, so, I do suggest using this one. I mean, this will get you most of what you need. However, there is so much to learn about Nmap that I can't cover in this short video, but I do recommend you go to the website or, you know, do some more research, but Overall in all, this video right here should get you through, I mean, most of the in-map scans that you'll have to do. So, well, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.